Hey guys, it's SI Stealth on uh, EP Hatch. Um, just doing a little quick review on uh, parts for the uh, MTech Race Springs. Um, some parts to think about uh, when you're doing the MTech swap, uh, the spring swap. Um, some of these parts, because it's in your shifter mechanism, they will be worn. So I'm going over this review to give some tips on parts that should be replaced when you do it. Um, especially for those of you guys that are, you know, in the 150,000 mile range or above 100,000 miles, um, like my car. Um, but uh, just some of the parts that you should replace, I actually got the old ones right here on this uh, paper towel. And then I got all the new ones that I got right here. Yeah, I know, they look really nice. Um, but uh, one of the thing, a couple of things I noticed... Uh, between the old parts and the new parts when I got them in today um, is uh, just plain worn parts. Um, obviously, you know, you're shifting a lot, even if you're just driving to work. Um, especially when you're racing, you know, there's a lot more stress on these parts so they'll wear faster because they're just stock parts and not upgraded at all or anything. Um, but a uh, couple things, um, exact parts, is your... Uh, shift lever right here this big guy right here this guy um you order it from honda uh it actually comes from atlanta for uh those of you um in california i know a lot of you guys are uh this is just food for thought but this shift lever right here um is uh it is made in georgia so you guys can expect five days of shipping on that to come out to you guys um, if you order on the Honda eStore website. But uh, one thing that I noticed was that the rod itself um, is bent, like very slightly. Um, but if you, you know, when you guys do your, uh, your MTech swap for your springs, take a look at it. If it's, you know, if the threads inside are stripped or in bad shape or anything, um, you know, replace it. Uh, if the rod's been or real scarred up from the uh, the shift engagers um, being on there because they slide on just like that. Um, you know, if they're worn real bad, you know, anything like that, just go ahead and replace them. Yeah, this is a $50 part from Honda, but you get it brand new, it's going to last you another 100,000 or however many miles. Um, my car has 102,000 on it, and, you know, it was other than it being bent is in pretty good shape so um, but yeah just go ahead and replace it um, it's a good idea because um, you know obviously it's, it's worn it's bent you know just go ahead and get rid of it get a new one so you're, it'll help your shifting be a lot smoother and uh, won't you know it won't snap off or uh, it won't make other parts get a lot more worn because this thing is bent um, another thing is your uh, shift arm which is this guy right here you can see right there on that corner is where he is worn all the hell now this little guy after he's stacked up on that rod there he's responsible for actually engaging all of your gears first through fifth um, or sixth if you have a six-speed transmission um, he was worn all the hell so I went and replaced him there's a new one right there. Um, and then uh, here is your reverse striker right here. Now this guy's only responsibility is to obviously put your car in reverse. It engages the reverse gear. And there's a new one. Um, this guy wasn't worn, but since it got stuck on the bent rod, I had to get a new one because I had to beat that guy off to him off <laughs> um, to get to get it off the rod so I used a hammer or whatever I could to get that thing off um, so in so doing it got fucked up um, another thing is your uh, the washer that goes on the bolt here and the bolt itself you know if the bolts messed up you know, the threads were cross stuttered or whatever were you know was my case you know go ahead and uh, get the new bolt um, don't uh, 
don't use a tap and die set to rethread that bolt or this hole right here. Do not do that because your car is, you know, this shifter mechanism is very specific and that bolt is supposed to be torqued down. It's like 26 foot pounds. So it's pretty fucking strong. But, you know, you don't want to be putting 26 foot pounds on rethreaded threads. You know, they're not going to hold up as well as, you know, the stock ones. So, um, but yeah, just, uh, you know, this is your whole, the top of your shifter mechanism. Um, there's a little dust seal in here. This is another thing I recommend. Uh, this guy right here that the rod goes through. Um, I just went ahead and got a new one. Um, I noticed mine was kind of frayed or whatever because it's like, it's made of plastic and rubber. So, but yeah, this is just my review on uh, getting new parts for the shifter mechanism. See you guys.